Hey there everyone, it is Friday, August 14th, 2020, and I finally got a bush bean from my Dragon's Tongue bush beans. I think this is the only one. The cucumbers have been doing great. They've been making lots of cucumbers. The kale is getting destroyed by beetles along with the kohlrabi. I'm kind of disappointed with that. We cut back the pole beans and that's been good. We've been getting some good beans from the purple potted pole beans. Our tomatoes are on their last legs, but they're still producing, especially these uh, Pantano Romanescos. They're making really big fruits and um, yeah, they're doing really well. We ripped out all but one of the zucchini plants. This is the last one. Elizabeth put some uh, diatomaceous earth on there. And we planted some carrots and bok choy. We have a couple of green pepper plants that are still doing okay. Not making very big fruits, but they are making fruits, so that's good. The lavender plant is still producing lots of flowers. Elizabeth sunflowers have been attracting a lot of birds and squirrels and and pollinators. We planted some eggplants down here along with some cucumbers and green peppers, I think. Some kind of pepper. The chamomile has been making lots of flowers. We've been enjoying those, making tea out of them. We had to build this row cover out of chicken wire and boards to keep the squirrels off of the melons. I found some teeth marks in one of the melons, so we're trying to guard against that, but see how it, how it works. These cucumbers are also making lots of fruits, both the tokiwas and the purplus tender green, which are the smaller ones. You see here our tomato plants are not doing well, but some of them are still making lots of fruit. This particular type has been splitting very easily, and so we haven't gotten a lot of good fruits out of it. I'm pretty sure that's the purple Russian type, um, but they never stay on the vine long enough to turn purple. They always split and rot. This is another Kajari melon plant. And it's doing okay. So far, I haven't seen a critter trying to eat, eat one of them, so that's good. Our trombone squash plant has already made two more fruits. And we're gonna just let it grow and see if it makes any more. And we're starting some more squash plants here and here. And these plants also didn't do well. We had a lot of rain in the past week or so, and so a lot of them have started to get this blight on them and really wrecked their leaves. But we'll see if they, if they come back or not. All right, thanks for watching.